Welcome back guys to another video of GTS and Andrea GTA Vice sorry GTA 5 series. So let's continue the GTA series and let's see what we can do. Let's go. I'm so stressed out you interrupted my menopause. You, Tanya? Ain't nothing wrong with me, nigga. Shit. Well, your ass don't look too good. Where the fuck is JV? Smoking. And what about you? I mean, you know, I quit. You know what I'm saying? Almost. Yeah, whatever. JB, look, JB gonna lose everything. He gonna lose the house. You know what I'm saying? The business, everything. And you his cousin, nigga. You said you was gonna he help. He ain't my cousin. Whatever, if that's how you feel. What the fuck do I know about touring cars? Look, it's easy. If JB can do it, you can do it for fuck's sake. Come on, I'ma show you. Come on, shit. All right, then. Shit, shit, shit. everything. Hey, look, let's make this quick. I got shit to do. Nigga, you need to slow it down. Tanisha was right. Where your wheels at? Shit, where we go? Trucks at the Davis Sheriff Impound. Oh, man, how did I get dragged into this? We both know you always been sweet on me. <laughs> Shit, Franklin Clinton. Shit, your ass must be high or something. I told you, I don't do that shit no more. I mean, I baby doze now and again just for the taste. But I'm doing good, boo. Your eyes don't lie. Whatever you say, girl. Come on. Let's go bring the cha-ching, homie. for JB to drag his ass out of whatever crack house he laying in. His loss, your gain, sugar. Except I ain't gaining shit, sugar. Move that seat back, and you know I'll make it right for you. That ain't what I'm saying. Damn, Tanya, what the fuck happened to you? Okay, I've seen JB do this a hundred times. Back up close, make sure the hook is down, and it should slide right in. Okay, we are in, baby. Let's get this back to the lot. Hey, this was not how I saw my day going. So I ain't seen you around the hood much? I've been trying to branch out. Can't stay in Chamberlain Hills forever. Oh, nigga got airs now. I remember you before you was a wannabe when you just was. And I remember you and JB before y'all was dope in. Shit changes. You the one all turfed up. JB smoking, but he ain't smoking homies. He out here grinding, towing cars, paying bills. For real? Cause I could have sworn it was me out here towing cars for him. And looking damn fine doing it too, baby.
Okay, we make the drop where they got the areas marked. They get real finicky when we don't leave it in the right place. That's whack. Oh hell. what she wants. Okay, boo, you can drop it right here. We just gonna sit here? Where the hell are you going? Anything you need, you holler at me. Now, where is that fool? You're a racist. What? What? You don't like me because you think that I am an Arab. What? No. What are you talking about? Excuse like me. That, wait. that oh, wait, boy. I, I... I am his mentor. I am so proud of you. What do you mean, a mentor? Don't worry about that. Okay, so what you got for him? James DeSanta. Some kid. He is already late on his payments, and I have this bad feeling that he will do more damage to the car than we can get back from him in the exorbitant interest rate payments. Huh? Just go and get it. The house is on, um, uh, Hampstead, uh, off Eclipse. It's an SUV. Yeah. Some Rockford Hills daddy's boy nonsense. Don't worry about it. Try to bring the car back in good condition, huh? I got you. Don't worry about it. It's so good to see you, my boy. Hey, good luck in, uh, law school, huh? So, Mr. Kenneth, were we at, uh, financing? The financing, it seems like a shitty deal. Ah, because of the color of my skin, you think I am a scammer. No, no, no. Skin color's got nothing to do with it.
Rockford Hills, the yellow 4x4. Four four. My credit's okay, and this is all like high risk financing. Hey, did you change your mind? When I discover that you betray me, perhaps. I hear you took the bike for yourself, my employee of the month. Listen, man, me and Lamar was gonna get that back to you, dawg. Oh, I am sure. You will get this car off the daddy's boy, and then we talk. Insurance papers say they have a locked garage, so you'll need to gain access from inside the house. Man, it's never easy with you, is it, Simi? Do not talk to me about easy, you thief. You have a massive gaper, bitch! Fucking homo, you're dead! Dead! He said I had a massive! Tried to knife attack me? No one creeps on the chain dog my- Ooh, slaughter time! Oh my god, seriously? My brother is such a homo. I think he has a medical problem. Like, more medical problems than the ones he's already been diagnosed with. <laughs> Thank you, coach. You're a real pro, Mrs. DeSanta. A real pro. You know, you're a great student. Now just loosen up those hips. Okay, like this? I think I'm getting it. Amanda, All right, now just follow through. Ah, you've got great hips. You know that? Follow through.
Hey, Simeon, I got the ride, man. I'm coming back. Yeah, if you actually bring the repossession to me this time, I can have it back out on the street before the day is done. That's a 9mm semi-automatic pushed against your skull. Uh, look around. You just keep driving where you're going. Hey, come on, man. This was a repo job. The guy was behind on the fucking note. Unlikely, considering my son just got the car. And looking at the way you're going about this, my guess, you're working a credit fraud. A credit fraud? Be serious, dude. Watch it. I just worked the fucking repo. I appreciate a kid who follows orders without taking responsibility. Yeah, maybe one day we'll have a beer, and I'll explain how the world really works. Who gives you the slip? A car dealer, dawg, by the name of Simeon Yateri. So this businessman, he look legit to you? Look, man, this is just between him and your fucking son. Don't worry. Me and Mr. Yatarian, we'll work this out. Hey, man. Jess up here. Okay. Stop the car. Pull up. That the place? Yeah, this the place, man. Whoa. Drive into it. Right through the fucking window. And fast. Or I'll put two rounds in the back of your skull and do it myself. You can't be for real. I look like a fucking joke to you. Man, fuck my life, man. Fuck you. Ram it already. Countries just giving away its money to other countries. You, you gotta start buying American. Well, no, I mean, not your cell phone, obviously. It's not exactly how it looks. I always trump big for a job well done. Now get out of here, kid. You motherfucker! Simeon Yaterian doesn't. Oh! Ah!
Look out! What do you want? Man, I'll come by for that drink you offered, that's all. I wasn't really serious about that. What? Uh, you're here, whatever. Sit. You're not gonna rob me again. Man, I never robbed you. That was just a repossession. <laughs> okay. You call it whatever you want to call it. I really don't care. What can I do for you? Shit, I just came by to see if there's something I can help you with. I see you doing well for yourself. I'm retired. Ain't you a bit young for the pipe, slippers, and staring at a fucking sunset? You know, I've been in this game for a lot of years. And I got out alive. That makes me the right age. <clears throat> you look like a good kid. But if you want my advice, give the shit up. You work hard, screw over everybody that you love. Hurt, rob, kill indiscriminately, and maybe... Just maybe, if you're lucky, you become a three-bit gangster. It's bullshit. Go to college. Then you're gonna rip people off and get paid for it. It's called capitalism. Hmm. So what I saw the other day was like, when a corpse briefly reanimates itself and terrorizes everyone, right? What you saw the other day was a guy dealing with pests. I guess I never saw myself as just a fucking pest. Well... And today's lesson's all about humility. Tomorrow we'll try a training montage. A training what? Nothing. I was just lost in an 80s movie fantasy. <laughs> yeah, I can see you spend a lot of time there. Yeah, as much as I can. So that's why you're here in Vinewood then, right? Maybe I'm here because I'm just an idiot. Who thinks that imported palm trees are a good substitute for not really knowing what the fuck you're doing on this earth. Jesus, man. You a good time, you know that. I'll tell you what, <sighs> least I can do is buy you that beer. There's a little bar I like. <sighs> it's not too far from here. Let's go. All right, man. I'm following you. We're taking my wife's car. Hey, Jim. I'm going for a drink. Dad! With... I mean, our boat going down the Western Highway. It's... it's been stolen. What? The yacht's been stolen? I, I was trying to sell it. I know you didn't want it sold, but I need money, and they don't want to buy it. They just want to take it. I'm hiding in the head. You're insane. All right, I'm coming for my boat. All righty, then. Change of plans. My darling boy is in trouble. Hey, I'll help you out.
Lesson number one. Don't ever have kids. Hey, man, look. If I had kids, I don't think no parenting issues would arise over who had both privileges and who don't. Shit, motherfuckers would be lucky to sit in a bathtub. Shit, things that desperate, huh? Nah, but, you know, shit, I was making a point. Apologizing self-deprecation. I know it well. Yeah, man, but shit, where the boat at? Little shit's been hijacked. They're somewhere on the Western Highway. Man, ain't you worried? About my boat? Yeah, I am. But you can always buy another boat. Yeah, tell my accountant that. Man, you can always get credit for one. But have you come repo it? No, thank you. <laughs> All right, homie. I ain't your homie. I'm someone you want to impress. Really? Man, I thought you was retired. Why the fuck do I want to impress some slipper-wearing motherfucker? Because I can still teach you a thing or two. Maybe help you open the door to all the joys that boat-related parenting issues entail. So I'm gonna help you get this boat back, right? That you are, my friend. in a fucking hurry, man. Yeah, well, we'll catch him. We got a plan? Sure. Once I get us up close, you're the... board party. More like the falling in traffic party. You'll be fine. If anything happens, I got a piece of the glove box. I'll cover you. Oh, yeah, man, fine. Just fucking fine. So you thought of everything, right? Well, you said you wanted to learn the old way of doing it. This is the old way. Hey, you want me to do this shit? You better get me close, man!
Shut the engine! Fuck! Hey, stop throwing assholes at me! If you hurt my boy, or my boat, don't you hurt my boy! Shop back there, dog. If you drive us there, we can get the ride fit. My boat. It's just a thing. My boat. Please stop doing that. Listen, I fucked up, okay? I'm not going to lie. That was a really bad judgment call. But shit, Dad, I nearly died. And all you give a shit about is this fucking boat. No, it's not that. It's all you do is scream at each other. No wonder I can't get a job. It's all your fucking fault. Or, it's not, but it's hardly your fault. I, I mean, I just want to impress you. By selling my boat to some gangbangers? I know it sounds dumb when you put it like that, but all you do is daydream or get angry. Look, I love you, Jimmy, but you're an asshole. And right now, with my boat disappearing over the horizon, that's all I can see. Franklin, do, you, do me a favor and give this kid a ride home after they fix this thing. I want to head but the road in peace. Oh, great! Leave me with the home invader! I'll get it done, dog. No problem. Dad! Enough! All right? Enough! Franklin, do me a favor. Call me a taxi, will you? No problem! Hey! I need a cab as soon as you can send one. Los Santos Customs, by the airport. All right, thanks. Thank you. Hey, so you, uh, do much yachting? Not anymore. No, I don't. Before, I mean, man. No, no, not really. This little shit stays in his room all day, and I don't have any other people to go with, you know? I like looking at it. Looking? Yeah. You know, I come down to the marina, sit on the dock, pour myself a drink, and look at her. Jacqueline. Did it clear my head, you know? Let me dream. Jacqueline, huh? Well, maybe you need to do some other shit to fill your time. Dream other dreams, man. Yeah, sure. Whatever.
Ready? Uh, go left. This the place up here. I know this dude, man. His name How. He gonna look after me. All right, take what's in my pocket. A couple thousand bucks. That'll cover it, right? So you sure you're good? Yeah, I got this. All right. Ooh, I'm gonna come up front. Get out and walk around. It's okay. I can just climb over. Look, man, I'm gonna get the ride fixed, man. They dropped it back off at your house along with this dude. It's all good, though, man. You gonna get your head right, all right? All right. Listen, thanks for today. I appreciate it. You stop back out to the house. We'll talk. Ugh, you see? Show, sure, man. Hey, sorry we didn't get your boat, man. Yeah. Come on, man. Let's trick this whip, homie. You gonna trick this whip or what? Still need to get you out for one of the races, Franklin. See if you drive as fast as you talk. Dude, what's happening? Good condition. Sweet. This wagon gonna be sick, homie. Power equals pussy. Or maybe like penis, in my mom's case. What the? I'm gonna take you home now. It's Franklin, right? Yeah, Franklin. All the credit for our guy. The home invader. You know what? Call me what you like, man. Yeah, I, I, no, I, I mean, sure. Jimmy, ain't it? Or James? Jimmy? Or just like, Jizzle? <laughs> no, nah, man, I'll just stick with Jimmy, homie. I'll just stick with Jimmy, homie. So, uh, what's the deal, man? Huh? You and my old man? I see you at the dealership, and someone steals my whip, and Papa's all like, he's been down there to talk to you guys. Right, Your pops did right. more than talk. What'd he do? Look, man, if he ain't tell you, I ain't gonna tell you. But I lost my fucking job, and I thought maybe he could help me find a new Dude, my dad is retired. Like, fully? Like, his only marketable skills are watching TV and daytime drinking. Man, look, I don't know, homie. He seems okay to me. Shit, he saved your ass. You saved my ass. Nah, nah, man. Well, well, maybe we good together, you know? Like, maybe we can get shit done we couldn't do separate. If it keeps him out of the house, that's cool by me. Yeah, well, we'll see. Look. I'm sorry my dad lost to your job. It's hard out there. Tough. I mean, I'm employmentally challenged at the moment. Oh, you got fired, dude. Damn, that's rough. Not fired as such. I didn't get a job. I've been there, homie. You've been putting your resumes out there, but no one's hiring, huh? No, I, uh, I didn't get a job. I've never had a job. It feels like hard work. Life, the days just kind of disappear. Hey, you play Righteous Slaughter? No. Nah. Not since the first couple. Okay. Come on, you fucking! Yo, so like, since we're both unemployed, like, we could run together, you know? Yeah, I think about it, homie. Or, or we could just like, shop it, you know?
right look, man. Look! You were like a son to me! Employee of the month! Does that mean nothing to you? Man, the dude had a gun to my head. No loyalty! No integrity! You should have taken the bullet! My business, my totally legitimate business! You're fucked, my boy! Fucked! I say that po boy's life. But you know what? It's getting to be a bit much. I have no idea how you cope. Of course I cope. I'm a woman. <laughs> Ain't that the truth? <laughs> <laughs> but girl, I done done all that I can do. But you know how boys are. Wait a minute. Oh, girl. Whew. Hey, how much further? Come on, homie. We ain't got all day. Let's go. For sure, but what you got to kidnapping fool that clown okay guys we will continue in the next video till the time stay safe stay happy and have a nice day bye